Hello and welcome to another screencast episode on colormylearning.com. My name is Sam. In this video, we're going to look at enrolling students on your Moodle VLE. There are two different types of enrollment that we'll be looking at. The first one is manually enrolling the students. The second one to enable self-enrollment, which allows the student then to enroll onto the courses by themselves, either without a key or with the key. We will explore both options. Now let's start by looking at the Moodle VLE. When you're creating a course, clicking on add a new course in the category that you the chosen category, you are allowed or invited to in enroll students from the system. Right. So let's go by we're going with the default, click save changes. As soon as you've created a course, the next step for every course creation process is the the manual enrolling of students. In this case you'd get to see a list of students that you can enroll by clicking on the enroll users. In here you can see the different roles that the users can take on. Um, we're going with the students for default and then you can just simply click on enroll next to the students and if you can't see your student in the list you can always search for them using the search box here and then continue to click enroll to enroll them manually now this is e easy for a small user population or a user base what happens if you have a big user base so i've clicked on finish enrolling and the students are now enrolled manually so when i go back to the course itself by clicking on the course short name here i now have some participants in this course what if I want to enroll more students? Under the administration block, I click on users and click on enroll users. I'm then brought back to this same screen where I can then continue to add more students onto my list by clicking on the enroll users button. Again, you can search for specific students using the search box. And then once you found them, click on enroll to enroll the students. And when you're finished, click Finish Enrolling Students. And there you are, students have been added to the course. Now, let's say if you have a big student population, this may not be the most effective way to enroll students in your course. So what you do, you enable self-enrollment. Self-enrollment allows the students to enroll themselves. Before you do that, you need to go into, let me backtrack, you need to go into Users, and then click on enrollment method and then once you're in enrollment method these are the different enrollment methods that have been enabled on your modal system you want to click on the eye icon to enable it and this makes the self-enrollment student option available to you you can also uh, create other self-enrollment options for teachers so you can then create a one with this a secret key that allows them to enroll and automatically become a teacher in the course. But we are just going to look at the student enrollment. Once you have enabled that, click on the gear icon next to that to edit the settings in there. Now, in this instance, we are not going to use a any password. So I'm going to use that enrollment key blank. Scroll down and look at all the different options that are available. Now, the default assigned roles at this for this particular one is student. So student enrollment is available by simply clicking on a button and not requiring any key. Now, you may find this handy. You can set it to 365 or 180 days. If they are inactive for that period, they're not interested in the course anymore. We can automatically unenroll them, which is very useful. You can also set a maximum enrolled user if you have a capacity that you wish to accommodate in your course. Again, very useful if you set this. Otherwise, zero means unlimited user. As soon as they've clicked on enroll, you can send them a welcome message. Um, this checkbox sends them an extended welcome message, but you can put a customized one if you wish to. Other uh, features that are quite useful is to create a start and end date for your enrollment to keep um, enrollment of a course, not specifically applicable to schools, but perhaps in a sort of lecture and online 
or a university level sort of type courses where each courses are available for a certain time only. So when you're ready, scroll down and click Save Changes. So now, self-enrollment for students is effectively enabled. So if I'm a student, I'll come up to the course, click on the course, and I'll be invited to enroll in this course by simply clicking on an Enroll Me button. And as soon as I clicked on that, I'll, be in, I'll then have access to the course and have access to all the activities in the course, including the grading of those elements, where applicable. But what if you wish to only allow students in your class to access this course? And what you can do is to introduce a key. So by doing that, go to Users, Enrollment Methods again. Click on the Self-Enrollment for Students, the gear, to edit the settings. And instead of saying leaving the enrollment key blank, introduce an enrollment key. Okay, so I'll now type a, an enrollment key in there. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. Now this stops other users from clicking on the Enroll Me button and enrolling themselves automatically without a key and only allow students with knowledge of that key and you've told in your class to enroll in this course. So there you are, the uh, different enrollment method. We looked at manually enrolling students into a course when creating a new course and then going back and manually enrolling some of students if you need to or if you are working in an environment where you have a big huge user population you can enable self-enrollment which will remove you the administrative task of manually enrolling each student and you can do that in both ways either without a key or with a key if you wish to restrict access to the course so i hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial for more information visit us on colormylearning.com remember to share this video tutorial on facebook and twitter thank you and i hope to see you soon